Perhaps you remember some of the fantastic stories of Greek mythology. One of my favorites presents the picture of Atlas bearing the weight of the world on his straining shoulders. No, legend has it that Atlas was one of four sons of the Titan, and his responsibility was to hold up the sky. Welcome to another episode of GCK Daily. We're so glad you've joined us today, and we hope that you will find refreshing and rest as you listen. Tonight, we come to a story in the New Testament, and it's a story that will be repeated in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Yes. We're looking at Matthew chapter 8, and I'm reading from verse 5. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, he's entering into your place, standing before you there tonight in Jesus' name. He has come, the healer. He has come, the deliverer. He has come, the Savior. You will not miss your miracle tonight. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him. There came, you must come. You come with your heart, your mind, your soul, your spirit. You come with a request. Let him know that you are there tonight. You are not an onlooker. You are not a spectator. You are not just in a corner there looking at what is happening to other people. You are the center of the blessing of God tonight. He came. He came with a request. And as you come tonight, with your heart, with your mind, with your soul, and with everything within you, you come with a request. Am I talking about you there? I can't hear you. Yeah. The Lord will answer that request tonight in Jesus' name. He yeah. came a centurion. You know, there are people that think a crusade like this, an event like this, Power manifestation like this is only for young people. And they come because they have title. And because they have name. And because they have popularity. The man is centurion. In those days, that was a great title. A mighty one. A recognized one. A person that was known in the nation. And yet, he came. As you come tonight, you come to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and you come to the power that created the whole universe. You will come. Let's leave the titles behind. And when the Lord stretches forth a sign to bless you tonight, title will not block your way. Position will not block your way. And the place, how high you are on earth, will not block your way from receiving the salvation of the Lord and the healing of the Lord and the miracle of the Lord tonight. In Jesus' name, beseeching him now. There are people on earth that their profession hinders them from beseeching, from asking, from asking for help. There are people, their profession makes them so high and so resilient and so powerful and so protected that they will not want to ask for anyone's help because that shows I'm helpless. It shows I'm hopeless. It shows I'm despondent. It shows I have a problem. And there are people, if you're like that, you already have a pedestal, a position in society that you think is a shame to ask. The centurion, 
cast away all background, all culture, and all professional dignity. And he came as you come tonight and you brush off everything that you might have thought about. The Lord will reach out to you tonight. Look at verse 6. In verse 6, and saying, Lord, my servant lies at home, sick of the palsy. This was a man. He didn't merry go round. He didn't beat about the bush. He didn't go a kind of Israelite journey in the wilderness. Here, here, telling stories, introducing himself, and telling about his title and his position. He just said, Lord, he called him Lord. As a centurion, he had a captain over him. He had powers that he reported to. He had people that he reported to. But he exalted Christ above all the captains, above all the people he had interacted with. He said later, I'm a man under authority. He had authority over him. But he exalted the authority of Christ above everyone. As we come tonight... And it's not just that is a crusade, a Christian gathering. I'm a Christian too. I'm a religious man too. I'm a, a religious woman too. Brush all that aside tonight. Jesus will be your Lord. This is Paul Balash, and you're watching GCK Daily with Dr. Kumuyi. Now here are a few things I'd like you to keep close to your chest. Number one. Redemption has been reserved. Christ is the great burden bearer, and he gladly and fully paid the price for our sins and bore all of our sins and sickness. Secondly, repentance leads to righteousness. A decision to turn from sinful pleasures and desires and to turn to Christ brings light and it brings liberty. And thirdly, rest is within reach. You can experience rest today and Christ extends the invitation to you. So come, come and rest. Cast your burdens upon him because he cares for you. Pastor Kumi now comes to lead us to Christ, our mighty savior. So I urge you to accept his free offer of salvation. He is an impartial Lord. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I'll pray with you, pray for you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you at this time. And I pray your salvation, your forgiveness will come to everyone believing for that now in Jesus' name. Take guilt away, oppression away, condemnation away. And Lord, let the joy of salvation Come into their hearts right now. Write their names in the book of life in heaven. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said... Father, in Jesus' name... God, you are the God of all power, the God of mercy, the God of love, and the God that works miracles. I pray, Lord, for everyone having any challenge, any affliction, any sickness. Lord, I pray, manifest yourself to them, heal them in Jesus' name. Here right here Amen. on the radio over the television Amen. online Amen. in every congregation Amen. every nation of the world Amen. manifest your power Amen. deliver Amen. heal Amen. set free Amen. break every yoke Amen. destroy the work of the devil Amen. Lord, I pray that right now, everywhere, 
manifestation of power. Blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. Deaf and dumb, receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Brain problem, lunacy. I pray that that madness will vanish away now. Goiter, be removed in Jesus' name. Fibroid, come out in Jesus' name. Hal, be healed in Jesus' name. Cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. Ulcer, be healed in Jesus' name. Heart problem, I pray, Lord, you touch that heart now. Everything shall be all right now in Jesus' name. And yeah, be removed in Jesus' name. The flow of blood come to an end right now in Jesus' name. Pain, fever in their body, take all the pains away. Take the fever away. Lord, I pray those who are at the point of death anywhere manifest reviving resurrection resuscitating power now in jesus name anywhere and everywhere any sickness and every sickness the hand of the lord touch you right now healing for you healing for everyone Deliverance for you. Deliverance for everyone. Emancipation for you. Emancipation for everyone. Lord, let there be confirmation everywhere right now. Thank you, Lord, because I know it is done. In Jesus' name I pray. It is done. It is done. If you've been walking the same old road for miles and miles, if you've been hearing the same old voice tell the same old lies, if you're trying to feel the same old holes inside, there's a better life. There's a better life. If you got pain, he's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom, a savior, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. Oh yeah. We've all searched for the light. We've all found ourselves worn out from the same old fight. We've all run to things we know just ain't right. When there's a better life, amen. There's a better life. If you got pain, he's a pain taker. Thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily, the global crusade with Kumi. We believe that you've experienced Christ's surpassing love for you and his willingness to guide you, bless you, and be with you all the days of your life. He is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother, and you can depend on him. We are really excited to further connect you and your family. The easiest way to communicate with us is through our online connection card at GCK hq.org slash connect while there you can leave us a message about your needs you may have grab helpful resources to help you with your next step in your journey with christ and please let us know how we can pray for you we love you god loves you and we can't wait to meet you at our next global crusade times and dates are listed on the screen for your specific time zone thank, thank you, you.